Why did you shout? I had a terrible nightmare. Hey. It's okay. What I'm happened? I'm Why this type of dream? Eh? Come on, honey. What was the dream all about? Hey. I was in a dream where my throne was set ablaze. It's a very bad dream. Your throne set ablaze? It's not a good dream. Okay. Honey, so what do we do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. My father. Everybody, my son. I am deeply worried because I wouldn't want anything to happen to the throne. Moreover, I wouldn't like to see my father being hurt by the ghosts. Ebube. Father. Calm down, all is well. Ah, I want to ask you one thing. Tell me, what is your take with regards to my nightmare? Father. I think there is trouble in the land. But the happiness and safety of the royal family is my concern. Shibube. Father. You are indeed a true son of his father. I want to assure you that all is well. You may go now. I'm so surprised that this is your emergency invitation to the palace. No, no, we know you are my right hand man. And if there is any complex issue that needs to be sorted out, yes. the first person that comes to my mind is you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Due to your endowed wisdom and the fact that you are my own. <laughs> Thanks, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, no, I had a terrible dream last night. As I'm speaking to you, I am still confused. That was why I invited you so that we can share this dream and proffer a solution or an interpretation to the dream. Hey, Your Majesty, what is the dream all about? Gods. Oh no. Huh? In my dream. Yes. I saw my throne being set ablaze. Hey! To fear what? Hey! This is a bad woman. We must hasten up for the solution and invite Kukwama Nwanya, the chief priest, yes. to give us the interpretation of this forbidden dream. Hey! It has to be fast. You can now, and Ebube. I decided to call this meeting with both of you present including my wife, due to the matter at hand. You all know that whenever the gods want to speak to the king, they do it through a medium, which is dream. So I want each and every one of you to be careful in whatever you do. Did I make myself clear? Your Majesty, has he gotten up to that? It has gotten to that, Ebube. Ebube, why are you asking us if you are not an indigenous of this community? Eh? That whatever a nightmare like this is being revealed to Iwe, it must be a sign of danger. It is father that I asked, and not you. Ebube, keep quiet. Don't raise your voice at him. Ebube, be very careful. But you have to respect yourself. <laughs> Shut up. What happened to you making noise in presence of your father? Have you lost it? On la poala. It's all right, it's all right. Ebube. You have to learn to respect your elder, the heir apparent to the throne. Mm -hmm. I mean, the next man to be crowned king of Nkanoland. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. You better be. 
better be. Like I said, you all have to be careful until the interpretation and the solution is being propounded. I have spoken. Hmm. Nduka, I was so ashamed of myself that day. And then Mama Angel, uh, forget about you, Kuku. Yeah. It's not his business. Even if he did for one day, he got pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's not for science. Yeah, it's not his business. All is well. As you can see, you, all is well on all. This boy is rough and rude. Eh? The worst part of it is that he's a womanizer. You only want to say, I have a yatotor. Hi, ya wolfess, ya wolf, ya waja, none you to only. Hey, my elders in council. Today is the appointed day. We are expecting to hear from the great one. The eyes and the mouthpiece of the gods. Yeah. Yes. yes, this is so important to us because this whole matter has kept us on a great uh, suspense and fear. <laughs> Your Highness, Igwe Ugodike of Uncano Land, I greet you. Igwe Guamanonya, Ngweza Amade, the great seer of our time, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Eh? Cabinet members of the land, I greet you also. Igoku, please rest my fear by giving us interpretation to this horrible dream and its solutions. Please help us, help us. Your Highness, I'm sorry to disappoint you with this negative information. The situation is still obscure. Obscure? Nothing seen at all. Everything still shrouded. From the picture, one can fathom nothing. But all hope is not lost. Because for seven days I'm going to embark on journey to evil forest, to high seas, low seas, to decipher where it's going wrong. And I want to assure you that on the seventh day, I'll be here to make all necessary revelation. The map is of the course. Is seven days not too long? Yes, the great one. Can't it be three days, for example? Will two of you? Shut up and sit down! You want to control the affairs of the gods of the land? Who are you to do that? It's three days on the north. It's four days on the north. The great one. We are so sorry. Sorry for yourself. Oh, it's in a book. It's in a book. But not this small hex. The jack is simbe. It's simbe. You know Mbe has big body but tiny head. That's what we are. Your Highness, let me reassure you again. 
that on the seventh day, after this journey, I'll come back here, make revelation to all of you. Thank you very much. Huh? Thank you. Hey. Well, my head has a castle. They have all heard it directly from the great one. Let's wait seven days. My son, the Prince of Uncanoland, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, um, I want to know the verdict by the Great Wall Ikuku. There's no negative or positive verdict yet. But my greatest fear is the suspense of what the interpretation is all about. But, Your Majesty, you don't have to bother yourself so much about the nightmare. My son, you will not understand. I am worried because many seasons ago, when I was young like you, my father was the king of Nkano land. He dreamt a terrible dream. He dreamt that many goats invaded his farmland and destroyed all the crop that we are meant for cash crops. That is why I'm worried, my son. Father, tell me more, please. When he woke up, after going through all the necessary investigation about the dream, there was big famine in the land that took lives of many. Some died of hunger and starvation. That is why I am worried, my son. Your Majesty, you kept this concealed from me up to this my age. Well, I believe nothing will happen to you or your subjects. That's what I believe. I believe so too. You still in this mood? Yes, Lolo. You will not understand how I feel about this whole issue in my reign. How about my two sons and my daughter, especially the heir apparent to the throne? Hmm. Your Highness, why do you fix all your love on our first son? No, why? it's not what you think. I have equal love for all my children. You better be. Your Highness, have you heard from the Great One? That is what really worries my heart. I wonder if he's alive or have been hijacked by the spirits in the evil forest. No, Your Highness. My husband. Let your heart not be so troubled about Ikuko. I know that the gods of our land will never put us to shame. Take it easy, please. I hope so too. It's okay. Hey, Kuku! Will you go to the palace and tell the Higwe the truth? Spirit messenger, how can I go and do that? If I do it, my life will be gone. Just go and tell him the truth. No. How can I do it? 
What of the shame involved? What of the scandal it will create? Ebu chemga wala abu hoya. Ebu chemga wala abu What could be the interpretation this time? Hmm? His late father, Igwe Ube Buka, dreamed several years ago and there was great feminine. Now, Igwe has dreamed another dream. What could be the solution? So that what happened several years ago will not repeat itself. Oh no. Why are you muttering and murmuring? What in the world could make you to talk to yourself? Ah, greetings to you. Oh no, please calm down. I believe the gods are with us. You see, tomorrow is the returning day of the Great One. Uh -huh. hmm. And to tell you frankly, since he embarked on this spiritual journey, I have never had any rest. Oh no, you are feeling exactly what I am feeling. All is well. Well, let's hope so. Let's be positive before the eyes of the gods. Why is he coming back on the sixth day? I thought he said he was on the seventh day. It seems all is not well. Okay. All is not well at all, my sister. See. It's like eh, mm. the ghost has revealed Igwe's secret to Nanikyo, mm. the Igwe's nightmare to him. If that should be the case, then it's a good news. Please, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Long live your majesty. <laughs> oh no, I am deeply troubled. Eh, 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 eh. Your majesty. Ikuku is back. Are you sure? I heard it from the right source that he's back. <laughs> but oh no, if I may ask, uh, why sooner than promised? It's true. But if the ghost decided to answer him before the seventh day, why worry? Eh? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Have you observed the tension? in the palace recently. Is it the confusion in the land concerning the Igwe's dream? Shh! Bring down your voice. I don't want to be caught and punished. For God's sake, the royal house is on fire due to the worrisome dream the king had. Please, I'm not among this eloquence. And what are your people discussing here this early? Don't you have a better job to do than to gossip with the royal household? It's not what you think. We are discussing something else. Then what? And whatever you ladies are discussing about, make sure you don't get yourself caught by His Majesty. Here, your Highness, please go ahead and tell us how you went. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, Cabinet members. Your Highness, I actually traversed seven rivers and seven evil forests. But as I was returning, a baby spirit appeared to me and declared that 
calamity will befall this land unless a proper revelation of your dream will be given. Ikuku, are you sure this is what the baby spirit revealed to you? Will you swear out your mouth? What an affront! From where did this your God come from? Huh? If you are not careful, more trouble will befall this land. <laughs> Johannes, as I was saying, this baby spirit also added that somebody must have wronged the gods of the land. And who must that be? It wasn't revealed to me. No revelation of it? Well, Ikuku, the grace Your, here. Your Highness. Please go ahead and investigate them. And make sure you bring the culprits to book. Go now and commence your investigation. Your Highness, I will do just Thank you all. Thank you very much. It's a good It's a good Your Highness. Why this sudden unpredictable trouble on the land? Did we offend the gods? My friend, I really can't tell. The worst part of it is that the gods have decided to keep silent. I wish they could speak so that I will know how to avoid this clouded sky from raining down on us. That way, my subjects and I will not be drenched by any poisonous rain. That's why I'm so troubled. I believe the gods will speak to us soon. I pray so too. I pray. Oh no, oh no, oh. where are you <laughs> up to this time? My dear, His Majesty sent for me, so I'm up to the palace. Mm. You know, you and His Majesty, he always need you by his side. You don't blame him. You don't blame him because a good leader who seeks for the best for his kingdom always do that to avoid calamity. It's true. Indeed, our ego is a good leader. Yes. My worries now is the double suspense the Igwe's nightmare and the corporate. Yes, yes. Actually, it's terrible and worrisome. Mm -hmm. But I know something must be done. Very good so, uh, please, let me rush down to the palace because uh, I know he must be waiting for me you impatiently know, now. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 the girls have done it. What is it? Did you could discover the interpretation of the nightmare and its solution as well? No, father. Something different from that. <laughs> Mother. And what is this envelope that you're holding? I just received my admission letter. Wow, what? Yes, my Oh, mother. that's my son. Yeah, really? Yes. Uh, uh, Your Highness, are you still in this mood? My queen, how do you expect me to rejoice in the mix of great suspense of danger? Your Highness, my husband, I understand that you've been troubled. But you've not folded your arms all these days. Honey, one thing I know is that the gods of our land will never, ever put us to shame. Please celebrate this great news with our son. I hope so. Honey, please. Give me a smile and Welcome congratulate our son. Thank you, 
Who is that? Come in, the door is unlocked. My God! <laughs> ah. What's up now? Alpha now? No, Allah. What did that happen? I just they look small into my book. So. Every time they look, what did this book look at you? I'm a eh? student. I mean, I mean, become the VC of this. Uh, 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 if I become the VC, is it a bad thing? Won't say babe like that on black shorts uh, and white top with Mickey Mickey something. See, that girl was asking me of the direction to the office. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't tell you. No, I didn't tell you. you. I didn't tell you the truth. I, 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 Come on, this day job. But that reminds me. I will be attending Legion of Mary meeting tomorrow. Okay. Will you come with me? You say? Do I have what I like? How will I know? I will be attending Legion of Mary meeting tomorrow and I want you to come with me. Okay. Me. So come with you. Bagam. Uh, that one, one baby could show. So if the one baby no come, you don't go come. No, that one could come. What will be your problem? They take women's weapon. The baby. No one have to have to have to have to show. No one have to 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 <laughs> you are welcome to the royal guard of Kali Kingdom. Um, thank you, the great Sia servant. Please, where is Ikuku, the great one? Ikuku, my father, is not around. Please, when he comes back, let him know that His Majesty needs his presence. Did I make myself clear? Is that the command? I am sorry, but that is the way His Majesty sent me to this message. I will deliver the message. Thank you. Let me take my leave. Dear. Good day. You uh, don't, don't remember me. We met in school. When I asked you for your direction to the HOD's office. Yes, yes, yes. My <laughs> head. Yeah. I now remember. How are you I'm doing? Okay. I'm okay. Well, I'm Rose. And you are? I'm Bro Hey, Bobe. Hey, um, you seem you live off campus. I live at the Royal Lodge, room 6. Well, me, I stay in the school, um, in the school hostel. My parents cannot afford such a exorbitant uh, rate of uh, off camp accommodation. So I live in the school hostel. Um, hostel B to be precise. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'm a legionary and I would like you to join us at our Legion of Mary meeting on Thursdays by. Please, just, 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 just pay me all this preaching. See so what will happen. Tomorrow I'll come and see you in your hostel. Um, since tomorrow is Sunday, say by 1 pm. Is that okay with you? One PM. Okay. No problems. That's okay by me. No problems. See you then now. Yeah, see you. Okay. Bye. Take care. The great thing. Please. I want to know if there is a demand of sacrifice from the gods. So that we can start to appease them. Before calamity befalls this land where my kingship reigns, Your Highness. That's one of my surprises. If there was a revelation about one sacrifice or the other, I would have informed everybody. But there is none yet. What could be the reason for your anger? It is still the same answer I'm giving you, that I've not known anything, I've not been told anything. But I have strong belief that sooner than later, I will hear from the gospel of the land and pass on the information 
to all of you. Thank you. Hey, if I. Guy. Ebus. Alpha now. Yeah. When are we going to celebrate our first month in the campus? Yeah. You know we are big boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ebus. That's right. I think this calls for celebration. Of course, yeah. Because it's not an easy thing to at least get admission. You are right, Sha. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a call for celebration. Oh. But ah, you people have to give me time now to finish up with my clearance and all that things. You know, say you know issue. I see, I, I know very well that you're very, very, very stressful. No, we just forget that one. See, my wife baby wants to go and visit me. Ah, this guy. You know, since I gained admission, she has not. I mean, you know now. See, I, guys, guys, let me tell you. You have not even yet started. And you people are complaining. <laughs> That's my problem with this guy. We are here yeah. talking about the stress of the of our clearance and all that. And he's talking about his one baby. Plus, am I complaining? What about your books? <laughs> no, see, 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 see. Are you are you are you my enemy now? Which kind of enemy? Yeah, I can't live without one baby now. So you can't live without the woman. You know you can't go this shit. See, see, see. Boss, make no, you carry time more. Go read your books and carry time while they tell you. No, no be saying first and say time, but come and lie on me. I know go, I know, I know go help you. When I wrote my jam, when I wrote you. my jam, I made I don't tell you. I got through the night. Are you the one? Go and read your books. Hey, bros, we go. No, my now. No, try God. See, next time you enter my review, you wear this pass and go. If I, my say pass. If I, if I, put that means in the morning. Put which? Read your books. Take a read. Yeah, by tomorrow. IG. What? Guy! Like, seriously? See! Ross, Ross, I beg. No, no, leave that to mama. The lesson is not to the school, so I can meet up the lecturers now. Is that the trait? You know that uh, con 112 lecturer? That man is so strict. So, because of 112, I will not be happy again. If we get there late, you know what is involved. I beg, let's hasten up now. I beg, let's hasten up. I beg. Okay, let's, let's go faster now. Uh-uh. Go and let her know that I would like to see her. Okay, my prince. I'm sitting beside the swimming pool. Yes, my prince. Of Canada land. Good day, the princess of Kano Kingdom. The only princess with great honor. <laughs> Prezikena, why are you flattering me now? Well, that's true. I'm not flattering you. That's true. Don't flatter me, Joe. <laughs> You're supposed to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's okay, thank you. You're welcome. Since you Can I see? Oh, you 
sip. Ah, thank you. I wish I had a tea. No, no, no. You're my, my prince. Oh. His royal majesty needs your present. All right. Tell me I will be with him in a GIF, okay? Okay, my prince. All right. I hope everything is okay. It's a usual thing now. He never needs my attention. Let's go. Let's go and see him. Um, no, I will, I will, I will still go now. Father Ebube! Ebube Father! So all these titles for me, eh? What else now? Oh. Eh? What do you want us to say? <laughs> when you cannot miss a... Uh... Morning Mass! Morning Mass! Night Mass! Even this Night Mass! Even the other people! How I wish it was my destiny to be a priest. I would have been happy. So that whenever I see you guys, I would always tell you, bless you, bless you. But all the same, that is how I chose to live my life. <laughs> that is by the way. Uh -huh. You see that girl? Uh -huh. Even I saw you with that day. I saw her today. She's fine, no? beautiful. So Beauty. be, forget about girls. That is not my mission to this city. By the way, where are you guys up to? Well, uh, I just want to escort him to go and see his baby. My baby. <laughs> That's when I won't cup of tea. Aye. Whenever you are gone, you meet him at home. See, see, you, you will soon drink with that, the same that cup of tea. No, my guys, yeah. see, I won't be a bad. Hello, sister. Hi, and how may I help you? I'm Bro Ebube by name, and you? I'm Choma by name. Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Did you go to church today? No, I didn't. Wow. We Christians, the level of devotion the pagans give to their gods, if we emulate such level of devotion to our own God, we will see the mighty hand of God more effective and active in our lives. That is why I want to invite you to our Legion of Mary meeting on Thursday. Well, I don't think I will, I will be chanced. You know, I'm a student. I do go to school. I am equally a student like you. But I want you to also understand that chance doesn't create nor make us. Rather, we create and make chance. If you really want to come, I know that you will create the chance and the time to be with us. Okay. By what time? 7.30 a.m., like I said before. Well, by the grace of God, I'll be there on Sunday. I'll be hoping to see you. Okay, bye. Everything all right? Hey! Uloma, the news is everywhere. What news? Uwape, the great hunter, mm -hmm. was killed by a strange vulture. Oh! Eh? Just like that. Hey! Just like that. Papa? Oh. Why all these calamities? What have we done to deserve this, Papa? Uwame, Joma, Joma. The gods have refused to talk. They have refused to talk. That is the problem. Yeah. Hey! 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 Nkano. 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 Where do I can see My fellow elder, I know it's a terrible thing. But you must take heart. Take heart. Because our ancestors are not asleep. That is what gives me joy. Joy in the sense that we cannot be suffering and they go sleeping. No, they can't sleep. They can't sleep. All must be well. Oh no, you see, you see I should take heart. 
I should take out <laughs> my only child, my only son. My only son, Abina, is gone. He's gone. Um, Ichi Iran, accept our sympathy. One thing I know is that the gods will attend to this predicament. They will answer our prayers and this situation will be solved because I know they are not asleep. Take heart, you are a man. Hey! Hello, man. What do you think about the matter at hand in this kingdom? Who do you think are the people responsible for such offense? I don't really know. Or are you suspecting someone? I am not suspecting anyone. But come to think of it, are you sure it's not Ikenwa the hunter? Who mistakenly shot his fellow hunter to death during hunting? <laughs> hey, Ngozi, shut up. Before His Majesty demand your presence in the palace. For explanation, no. I'm not involved. Let's go. <laughs> How will you be involved after gossiping with me? Adora. Good morning, Father. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, Father. I can see you're one of those that help to keep the church premises clean. Yes, Father. I am a legionary. May Almighty God continue to bless and sanctify you. Amen. May our mother Mary continue to intercede for you. Amen. Do have a nice day. Thank you, Father. Good morning, Father. Good morning. Good morning. I'm fine, Father. How may I help you? Father, I'm just a new student in this city and I'm also a legionary in this parish. So I bought this rosary and I want you to bless it for me. May Almighty Father bless this rosary in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. I would like to see my office on Thursday by 12 noon. Yes, Father. No problems. Everything will be fine again. How do you mean everything will be fine? When the gods have been silent for a long time now, as if that is not enough, they now strike my subjects with mysterious death. Is it? What is it? <laughs> Your highness, I'm finished. I'm finished, Your highness. My husband is dead. Igwe, my father and sister, we are both struck to death while we are walking out the front this morning. Your highness, this is getting too much. Something has to be done about this. It's okay. Stop crying, woman. It's okay. 
Ikuku has to do something about this. I cannot be losing my subjects day after day. Eh? Ave Maria. Ave Maria. General, I want to use this opportunity to inform us that uh, next week will be our Korea meeting. And uh, I'm sure that we all are aware that my six years of administration has come to an end. Therefore, I won't be eligible to be voted for. But I pray our lady to help us elect a good leader that will succeed me. Ave, Maria. Ave, Maria. Uh, may we hear from our visitor from Kure? Ave, Maria. Ave, Maria. Ave, Maria. I was sent from Queen of Apostle Kure to inform you that your president, Oza, has completed his second term of office and will not be eligible to be voted for in the same office. I'm also here to inform you that by the next career, this procedure, mother of our creator, will be divided into two because we believe in recruiting and extension. Have, uh, uh, thank you, Brother Mike. Introduction of new members. So if you know that today is your first time of coming, may we see you. <laughs> okay, um, please introduce yourself. My name is Sifani Emeka. Okay, thank you. My name is Asubike Tony. Okay. Uh, thank you. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Um, Brother Bube, please help us explain the settings of the altar today. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. The religion system is invaluable. If you want to talk to us for our new members, we first of all say Ave so that we will not give you attention and respond, Maria. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Maria. So the things on our altar setting. You see the candle stand, and it always has a globe that protects it from the breeze. But last week, two of our globes broke, so we'll buy another one by next week. That is why the breeze is disturbing us. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Then on our altar. You will see the candle. This candle here represents light. Just like Jesus said that we are the light of the world. We are the light other people are seeing. So we are expected to live a life that will motivate other people to live a holy life. Have a... After the candle stand, you will see the vexillum. This vexillum here is the emblem, the badge of the legion. It was a pagan that created this vexillum. But when he created it, they were using it in Rome as the Roman's coat of arm. Just like in Nigeria, we have our own coat of arm. And in our coat of arm, we have the horse, the shield, and the ego. Have a... So in the Roman's coat of arm, they also have the ego here in their coat of arm, which represents the beauty of a country, the beauty of Rome. And they had here the image of the emperor of the Roman Empire. His image is here. They are trying to tell us how strong the strength of it, of Rome, how strong they are, that they are the most strongest forces in the world. Have a... But when the legion saw it and saw that it was good, the legion borrowed it and substituted. We took away the ego and substituted it with the dove because the dove represents the Holy Spirit. When Jesus Christ was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended on him in form of a dove, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well worth pleased. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see the dove in your dream, it represents an encounter with the Holy Spirit. So when you now read the symbol, 
it now means that the Holy Spirit in religion of Mary through the Virgin Mary shares his grace to the world. This globe here is the world because the world is what? A globe. Then you come to the flower vessel. We have two sets of flowers in our flower vessels. One, the artificial flower. This artificial flower represents the glorification in heaven. That is why if you dream and see somebody who is dead in a dream and he or she is surrounded, surrounded by flowers, it simply means that that person is in the glory of heaven. Then we have the life flower. This life flower shows that those who are having this meeting here and now are the what? The living legionaries. Ave Maria. Because we are not yet dead, this life flower represents the living legionaries. Then after the flower, you will see the statue of Our Lady. I used to think that the Catholics and the legionaries will worship this statue. But when I became a legionary, I was made to understand that we do not worship the statue. And nobody in the church teaches anybody to worship the statue. Because the Virgin Mary is not a god. And we can never worship her. That is why there is a song we used to sing that says, We are honoring Mary. We are honoring. We are honoring Mary. We never worship her. Some people say we worship her. Not at all. Everybody join the chorus for my mama. Ave. So, with this statue here, reminds us that this woman standing here is our mother and our role model. We are called to live the kind of life she lived. So that we will be in heaven where she is. Ave Maria. Then, our altar cloth is white. Because white represents was purity. But when the white gets dirty, what do you do? You wash it. Therefore, each and every one of us is called to live a pure life. So if you commit a sin, you should not rely back on, on your sin. Go for confession. Attend the sacrament of penance. That through that means you will be washed again, just like the white. Then the, the color we, the colors we use in writing on our outer cloth, we do not use any color we like. Rather, we use two colors. One, it is either red or blue, because red is the color of the Holy Spirit. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended on the apostles in form of a flame of fire. That is why even on the day of Pentecost, our our priest wears the vestment that is what red their clothes is always red because the color of the holy spirit so the blue is the color of our lady which represents what love so it's either we use blue or red or combine the two to write on our altar cloth have a then lastly the name of our presidium the name of our presidium is our lady mother of our creator before you give a presidium a name you not just give any name, you give a presidium a name according to what has happened in the life of Mary or what pertains to Jesus and the Mary. Just like Mother of the Comforter, Queen of All Hearts, Queen of All Saints, Kate of Heaven, or even Mother of our Creator. So anything that connects to Mary and Jesus is something we use for the name of a presidium. Ave. Ave. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Um, thank you very much for that explanation. Closing prayer. Let me hear that. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good afternoon, Father. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. So, how are your studies? Very fine, Father. I'm your six. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Father, 
I went to your office and the master ever told me that you are in the parish house. That was why I had to walk down here to see you. Oh, you're welcome, me, baby. Thank you, Father. You know, after our religion of very meetings, we do go for our work. So after the work, I said, let me come down immediately to see you because I might go home and may not be able to come back again. Oh, you already belong to a society in the church. Yes, Father. That's good of you. That's actually one of the reasons why I sent for you. Okay. Always try to be a good Catholic and a good Christian also. Yes, Father. Don't hesitate to recite your rosary on daily basis and always try to attend daily masses. Yes, I believe our Mother Mary will always intercede for you. Let's pray. I want to seize this opportunity to thank each and every one of us that has voted for me and my fellow executive in the last election. It was a thing of surprise to me that I have not even lasted up to one year in this great organization and you find me worthy to be voted for. I personally want to thank you all and I pray that Our Lady and God Almighty will give me the grace and wisdom to lead this organization to the next level. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Also, my vice called me yesterday because of his inability to be in the meeting today, but he promised that he will be available by next week because he traveled to the village. Also, I also want to stress on the issue of personal holiness, which is in our handbook page 67. It makes us to understand that without that personal holiness, it will be impossible for us to convert soul because personal holiness is the object and the means by which we convert souls. Was a dream. Ah, the Lord of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Father, I come against every spirit of death. Take him food to take away life in my family. I come against it by the authority and power in the name of Jesus. I come against it, it by the authority in the name of Jesus. I render your power powerless. I come against you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. That was a very bad dream. But have you called your father? I've called my father. He sounded very okay over the phone. But something in me still tells me that all is not well. Ibube. Ibube. Stop all these negative thoughts. It won't help you. Just believe that it is well. Zubi. All was not well even when I left the village. How do you mean by that? Zubi, you, you won't understand. But with time, you will understand. You know what? It's okay. Ave Maria. 
What's that look on your face? My brother, I'm not happy at all. What happened? I had a terrible dream last night. My father was lying terribly sick. So I want to travel to the village to confirm, though I have called him on the phone. Please, I want you to let our members know that I'll be available by our next meeting. Please, take it easy. Nothing will happen to your father. I will send your message to members. See here? Thanks take for it your concern, bro. Take it easy. Yeah, I see. Bye. So, Ebube, you came back all the way from school to visit us because you had a dream. Father, ever since then, I've never been myself. Ebube, stop dreaming, please. The one His Majesty had is yet to be interpreted. Oh. Ebube was in Abiko. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't say. No, don't worry yourself. I know his problem. Ebube's interpretation of dreams is not far fetched. It's either malaria. Oh, night fever. No, no, no. It's not malaria. It's because he remembered that there's no place like home. Okay. So the whole family of Ibu Godike have joined hands in making jest of me. Eh? Okay, relax. Don't mind them. Okay? I know you are worried about the situation at hand. Don't mind them. <laughs> Father. Mother. I'll be traveling back tomorrow. Father, I want you to be strong for me. Till the solution of this nightmare is revealed. Because it hurts me deeply whenever I see you in this mood. Everywhere, my son, thank you very much. I appreciate your love and concern. You see, lately I've been able to observe that there's a tremendous change in your disposition. You are now exhibiting the character of a real man. I am very proud of you. I want you to maintain this, your present disposition. I'm proud of you. Thank you, my father. Dohamadike, one of Nkana Kingdom. <laughs> Another thing, as you're going back to school, try to maintain your positive personality. You know you are a royal blood. And don't you forget our advice. Okay? Ave Maria. Maria. Ave Maria. I want to use this opportunity to thank my vice for acting in my absence last week. It was due to certain reasons beyond my control. But I thank God everything is over and I am back now. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Well, Ebube, we accept your apology. Your apology is highly accepted. And we thank you for how you have been leading us. Everybody here can testify to that. We say, may the good Lord bless you and give you more wisdom to lead us. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Maria. Um, local show. The spiritual reading was taken from the New Legionary Handbook, page 72, the external ends of the Legion. Item 1, the actual work in hand. In Legion of Mary, we do so many works, but there is a particular work and that actual work in hand is making of its members only. It is the wish of the legion that each and every one that becomes its member must do what? Live a holy life. Living a holy life is not something you can claim in the air by saying, I claim it. No. Living a holy life is something that can be nurtured into somebody bit by bit gradually. And that gradually demands that we must be attending the legion meeting every week because it is in this meeting that you can hear words that can motivate and enable you to live that holy life out. Then, once you start living that holy life, it is now given the character of apostleship, which is to convert souls. Because anyone who is not living a holy life cannot do what? Convert a sinner. But once you start living a holy life, you can now begin to go for evangelism, go for legendary works. Can a sinner convert a sinner? No. Mm. Hi. Hi. Why all this situation in the land? Eh? Why? Why? 
Why? Hey, why? Mm. Unlike the previous days, when the dream of His Majesty had not come. Papa. Papa. This one you're talking to yourself. Is everything all right? My dear, it's just that I'm agitated over all these issues. Papa, you are the no who of Nkano Kingdom. Please, rest your mind, believing that future will be better than now. It's just that the whole thing is so painful. <laughs> Papa. Please come and eat your food before it gets cold. Please go. Papa. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Our local show today will be taken from our new legionary handbook, page 18, chapter 5, item 1, God and Mary. Ave Maria. This page is trying to explain to us vividly the position of God and Mary in Christendom. Because People have this wrong, wrong belief that we Catholics, especially we legionaries, worship Mary and adore her as our God. It is totally wrong. I even believed it before I became a legionary. But now, the picture is now clear. God is the maker of heaven and earth. The almighty, the creator of everything, even in heaven and on earth. So, you cannot compare him to anybody. But Virgin Mary, out of God's own willingness, he picked her and gave her the privilege to be the mother of his son. Because Jesus Christ is God, isn't he? It is. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. That word that is being talked about here is Jesus, the word of God that was made flesh, and he dwelt among us. Since he is God, Mary has every privilege to be called Mary, the mother of God. Ave Maria. Are you getting it? Yes. So when you see the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you do not bow before it. No, it is wrong. The Catholic Church is a church that has so much respect. Even at the mention of the name Jesus while praying, we bow. And just like the Yorubas have respect for their elders, whenever they want to greet their elders, they prostrate and say, Kabi Ese, Agbarabi, Agbarabi, Ekaro. Is it bowing? When you call that bowing, it is not bowing. They prostrate before their, their, their elders. We do not bow. We only prostrate before the statue of Virgin Mary as a sign of homage, as a sign of respect, because she is the mother of God and our mother. Yes, come in. The door is unlocked. Wow. Who do we have here? What an unexpected VC. Please have a seat. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. I'm good. So, you were intense about this visitation promise? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So, what do I offer you? Um. Nothing. I'm fine. No, 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 no. I do not go with that. How can you come to my house for the first time and you are telling me to offer you nothing? Oh, come on, everybody. I'm fine. 
courtesy demands that I offer you something. <laughs> Even if it's a glass of water. I'm okay, don't worry. See, oh, see, no. I'm watching my way. It's okay. I need to keep feet. You know, look trendy. You know, don't worry. Maybe sure. next time. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Are you sure that is your reason? Yes. If you insist, my hands are tied. Mm -hmm. I can see. Very tight. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you decided to give your life to Christ? That is why I'm here. I'm here to share the word with you. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible says that there is joy in heaven when a sinner turns back from his evil ways and gives his or her life to Christ. Right? It will be, it will be relax. Come on. See, we're going to discuss this in church. Hmm? Not now. So, if you say so. So, how are your studies? It's very fine. And yours? Well, not bad. We're just there managing. Managing? Mm hmm. You don't look like someone who is managing. You're huh. looking good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Well, the place is not bad. Sure. For the big boys. <laughs> uh, it's wow. not our fault now. Well, Your Majesty, bro, when I heard about Iran has misfortune, I was highly troubled. Troubled in the sense that the same question keeps appearing to me. Why are the gods silent and decided to punish us with ignorance and death threats? Eh? Ignorance in the area of the nightmare and death threat on his children. Iwe, may the gods be at peace though. Oh no, I am totally confused and dejected. I'm speechless. Hmm. So what is the next line of action? Since the, the, the chief priest of Onkanola has not been able to offer a solution to all these problems. Oh no. Like I said earlier, I am still confused. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Wow, I'm just so happy. I'm happy with the way things are going on this time. I'm also happy about this regime. Is a, a good and exemplary administration. And I also thank God for the life of our brother Ibube. God is using him so much in this place. But Ibube, kudos to you. We appreciate you. Kudos. Yes. Yes. kudos to our ever president. Chai. Wow. <laughs> Chai. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. I am so, so happy. And I want to encourage every one of us to emulate the moral standard of our Ebu president yes. alongside with the spiritual standard. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Because of time, I have to summarize our discussion for this month. Our discussion for this month is Mary, the Dratrix of all graces. Just like many people wrongly think that we Catholics or we legionaries worship Mary or we treat we worship her as a god. We do not worship her as a god. Neither does the church teach that she is God. Mary is not God and nobody worships her. Rather, Mary is the midratrix between us and Jesus Christ. The nearest person to Jesus Christ is Mary. And the middle person between us and Jesus Christ is Mary. So she is the one that administers the graces of Jesus. Maria. 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 You are, you are really a true child of God. Wow. <laughs> what do you mean? You won't understand. See, I'm just captivated by your by your effort and zeal in, in Christ Jesus. I don't know how you do it. My dear, it's just the will of God. Though. It's just the grace of God. Yeah, but you are flattering me. I'm not. <laughs> I want to do and be like Maria. Maria. <laughs> How do I grow like you? By the grace of God, as time goes on, you will gradually be like me. Look at her everywhere, and that new member st uh, standing in tears like husband and wife. Ha! Is she not his new convert? Okay, but is he trying to convert many souls? Mm. But must he, must he convert all girls? Don't judge so that you will not be judged. Okay, that's good. Um, are, you, are you going home? Yeah. Hey, let's go now. Okay, no problems. <laughs> Fire 
on the mountain. Ibu be, I say there is fire on the mountain. Ibu be, you are just in wrong. Why there is fire out there in your house? Who are you? I'm not afraid of you. Who are you? Show me yourself. I'm not afraid of you. Who are you? Be careful. <laughs> Such a horrible event is so bad. It's a bad woman, oh. Frankly speaking, since after that incident, I've not been myself. I, could you imagine an invisible voice talking to me? I was panicking like a baby. Hey, leave you shivering. God! Hey, this is scary, you. This is very scary. Um, so, what do you intend to do now? Have you thought of any plans? What ideas do you have? What are you going to do? I am totally confused. I don't even know what to do. I am totally confused. I'm out of balance. Hi. Wait, I think I have an idea. Have you considered um, speaking with the uh, Reverend Father? You know, maybe you have something to say or do or something. Maybe you have... Uh, you, maybe he might help. What do you think? Reverend Father? Mm -hmm. Reverend Father. Ah! Hey. Hello, Father. Hello, my father. Hello, my father. Hello, my father. Kingdom, I greet you. Hello, my son. I heard you called the other day, and I hope all is well. Yes, Father, I called. Indeed, Father, all is not actually well. Talking to me in a frightening manner. I was extremely dismayed and confused. You have to come home as soon as possible. Did I make myself clear? Yes, Father. And one more thing you have to be careful with your movements. The gods of our land are with you. Yes, Father. I will be careful. <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now, stand up for thee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now, stand up for thee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now, stand up for thee. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be all that end of me. It was I like just opened the door. My dear. How? Why are you expecting anyone? Just open the door without asking who it is. <laughs> Don't mind me, Rose. I was carried away by the power of prayer. Oh. I was highly in the spirit. Mm, you are praying. Uh, you can see. <laughs> that reminds me, did you finally meet with the priest? Of course so, I did. What? I met the priest yesterday. Mm -hmm. He gave me this holy water and the olive oil to sprinkle around my room and also say 20 decades of the rosary and that was what I just concluded before you came in. Wow, such a relief. Immediately after meeting him yesterday, I felt relaxed. My mind was calm and I felt happy. Something in me tells me that the problem is solved. Hi. That is good, that is good news. That's, so I wouldn't want my able priest to be, you know, going through any form of stress or anything at all. Um, I, would, mm -hmm. I think I'm okay now. So, what do I offer you this time around? Um, anything. 
you are not a beggar there. It's only beggars that have no choice. So tell me what you want and I will get it for you. Anything you give me, I will gladly accept. As long as it's coming from ah, you, I'll oh. take it. Do you want me to start thinking of what to get you that you will like, what I might get you <laughs> and you won't like? Anything you get for me, I'll take it. Just get me anything you like, anything at all. Just like it is always often said, ladies first, <laughs> if you insist, I'm going to get it for you. And I promise I'm going to get you what you're going to like. Okay. Hope I will get what you will like. Yes, ma'am. This time, please let me in, please let me in first, please. Rose, this one you are panting and shaving as you to see. What happened? What is the problem? Is anyone dead? Some group of cold boys wanted to rape me and I was oh, there. Mary. If not for the help of God and the help of our mother, Mary, they would have succeeded. Oh, thank God. Thank God you are not harmed. Oh, where are you going to sleep this night? Ah, boy, baby, why are you talking like this now? Eh? If I sleep in your house, what will happen? Ah, I've never slept with a woman in my room before. So what do you want me to do? Okay, I should go back there so I just got to rape me and keep me. That's what you want. I'm just going to keep no, no, myself. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Yes, I've heard this from my mother's source. You see? But I don't know how she had you. Oh, I have seen them. Really, I've seen them. You don't know. Coming out from the restaurant, holding hands together, smiling. A booby president yes. of ah, region of Mary. With Rose. Do you know, I will need to take the details of this, okay? You will just come. You are going to my house. You will give me the details of this. You see? Just wait this woman. Madam. Madam. Yes. How much is our bill? One thing. Huh? One thing. Hey, Bupe. Yes, let us have a change. Tell me you, a who president. God, what do I do now? Should I go for this confession? If I do that now, this father will not trust me again. What do I do? Should I go or should I stay? If I didn't go, that would be the worst aspect of it. To be, I will not be partaking in the Holy Communion again. Jesus Christ. What do I do? No. But it will be. It's almost your turn. Well, I have to, so that I can partake in the Holy Communion.
your majesty. I could not believe my ears that Eze Moore scribe was responsible for the long silence of the gods. Eh? How could he, how could he have slept with a barren woman that came to look for a child from the gods? Oh no, you heard me right. He came to me and confessed that he was propelled by the gods in the bush to go and confess. Else, the gods will not interpret the secret of my dream. I wonder why Ikuku will commit such atrocity, such evil. Why? Thanks to the gods that he later confessed. I would have said why the long silence from the gods and the misfortune that befell us. Your Majesty, now that he could has finally confessed his sin, I believe that the gods of our land will reveal the secret of your dream. Of course, the secret of my dream will be revealed very soon. Honestly, honestly, Ezemo did not get it right at all. He never got it right. Eh? Imagine, imagine the punishment, imagine the problems we went through. Maria, this one that you sent for me, I hope all is well. Yes, I sent for you. <laughs> Ibe, you know that you are my brother. Of course. And a good friend. Yes. And there's no how I will hear rumors about you and I will not tell you. That's right. But there, there is this one going on. What must that be? Ibe, I heard you now sleep around with girls. As in, I don't understand why such negative threat from a president. I still don't understand what you are talking about. Well, it is more about you and the new convert, Sister Rose. It will be. Search your conscience. Search your conscience. Let this not be true. Let this not be true. See? Jesus Christ. I'm finished. So my private sin has become an open one. What do I do now? I am finished. How do I face this? Oh God, <laughs> save me from this mess. <laughs> Your Highness, I greet you. Elders of the cabinet, I greet you also. We greet you, the great one. Please, the great one. Is what we heard from His Highness really the truth and the choice from the gods? Everything you heard is true. And please, let there be no opposition. Please tell us, the great one, the mad peace of the gods. The decision of the gods of the land is final. Please. Accept it the way it is. Abu Bear is the heir apparent. Ikuku, your highness, my mind is full of doubts. My mouth is full of questions. And my body shivers from this improper message. Yes, improper in the sense that not even in the time of my late father, we have never witnessed or heard anything like this. Yes, since I was a boy, I never had this kind of thing. Not at all. I've never had this kind of thing in the history of this kingdom. Okay. So now it is happening. Accept it the way you've had it. Except you want to incur the wrath of the gods. I repeat, Abu Bear is the heir apparent. Thank you. Yes. Your Highness. Yes, my. What did Ikuku tell you is a revelation of your dream? <laughs> My point. Go ahead, miss. If you ask me, I really don't know where to begin. Ikuku left me with a revelation that is very unorthodox. Something that has never happened in the history of this kingdom. Ikuku told me that if I am no more, that Ibube, my second son, will take my place. 
Isn't that unorthodox? Why would a god say a thing like that? I don't know. Why would a booby sit on your throne where we have a first son in the south? It really disturbs me uh, how the gods can go out of their way sometimes to do things that are very unusual. It has never happened before. But who am I to question the wish of the gods? This is not right. This is not just right. Elders of Mukanolan, yeah. I am very adroit of words. The gods have chosen to complicate issues concerning the right heir apparent to the throne of Mukanolan. That's why I decided to summon all of you here. Honestly, I'm still wondering why Ibube instead of Ikenna. This has never happened in the history of Mukano Kingdom. Yes. I suggest we invite Ikuku for more details. Ikuku has spoken the wish of the gods and he stands by it that it is their decision and not his. Your Majesty, in that case, I suggest we appease the gods by offering a sacrifice to know if they can change their mind. My elders, I have spoken to the great seer of Unkanolan severally, yet he insisted that Ebube, my second son, was chosen by the gods as my successor. It pains me, but who am I to question the gods? What are you saying? Huh? Wait. Oh. When will this calamity end in this village? Huh? Say that you saw Obidike killed before your presence by that horrible dragon. Yes, but I want no more. When will this end? When will this end? Impossible. I will deal with. I wonder why all this problem has been happening to us all this while. Huh? My son, no be decay, has gone. Hey! Just like a flash in the pan. I knew what it took me to seek for that boy. And today, that boy is his too. Hey! I know how you feel. Calm down. The world is not the end. Last time it was. Iche, <laughs> calm down. Today is yours. There is nothing you can do about it. Only the gods have the answer. Yes. You are right. There's a more. And Igwe have to do something concerning this calamity. Fire bullets! Hey! I will never wait for them more or you to do anything. Why would I wait for you to do anything more? Hey! Ije! Ije, calm down! I will thank the gods by myself! Yes. I will deal with them! I, I don't have to you. challenge the gods! What is it? What happened? Prima, what happened? Talk to me now. We are finished. finished. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? As we are going to the stream, oh. a mysterious animal oh. that looked like a dragon killed him. Hey. How? How we managed to escape? Hey, God. Ghost of our land. When will, when, when will all this calamity stop? Hey, hey my know. sister, we are in we trouble. Don't we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> we are finished. Put him back. Okoro, we are here to sympathize with you after hearing the death of your brother. But it bothers me to think what is actually happening in this community. Iche, honestly, I'm short of words. 
I'm short of words. That's how we saw it. But I believe to go to Kabiyama. He's watching. He's watching. He's watching. Calm down. How did it happen? We were inside the room eating. Oh. All of a sudden, he started screaming. I thought it was a joke. He died. Oh. Hey! Nothing to be seen my vice president kissing and hugging a lady in a beer parlor. This is too bad. But he has been the one condemning me all this while. Holy Mary. What is this world turning into? I can't believe my eyes. Am I dreaming? So this is real. God of Nazareth. The Great One, Your Highness, tell us the reason behind the gods choosing Ebube instead of my first son. We are worried because this whole thing is so strange to us and the entire community. It has never happened before, not even in the time of my ancestors. The heir apparent to the throne relegated to the background while the second son chosen as the heir apparent. This is very strange. We are worried. Ibu, Chianya, Ezenke, Ezenke, Mado. Kamma, Karibu, Chianya, Ezewo, Ezenke, Mo. The ghosts of the land have decided. Not me. But, Great One, you know very well that we start counting from one, not from two. Exactly. Hold on. By that indirect statement, are you challenging what they have decided? Let me warn you and anybody here not to ever do it. You do it again. The great one. Huh? It's not as if we are questioning the will of the girls, but we are worried about the strange change of the girls. I can see people are here to challenge what the gods of the land have decided. But I warn you. You do it! Acho! Mwong wogi! Acho! 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 Mwong wogi! Mwong wogi! Acho! Be careful! Don't challenge the gods of the land! Otherwise, Acho! Mwong wogi! Acho! Ni kuchanya za mke mwamu Kama kani kuchanya za mke mwamu Kani Where are you going to? I'm going to my maternal home. Uh -huh. What reminds me? Have you heard the latest news in the palace? No, what is this? That Ebube is the ghost's hair apparent, not Ikeni. Ew! But is that right? Shut up. Mochonoga, shut this your mouth! For you cannot question the ghost. What? I'll give my will. See you later. Okay, bye for now. Your Majesty. Oh no. I know it is very, very difficult for Prince Ikena to accept that. But the ball is on the part of your conviction. Oh no. You are no. I have slept over it and I have given it a deep thought. I will make sure that it doesn't happen. Well, I hope you have given a very big thought about it too. Very well. Uh -huh. Let me remind you, Noah, about my trip to America for medical checkup. Oh, yes. And 
I want to let you know that on my return, mm. I will do everything and anything within my powers to change that decision. That, that would be very good, but, but, Iwe, it's a very big challenge to the gods. Um, Iken. Yes, Your Majesty. Please, I want you to take care of this royal family. Don't take whatever that happened to heart. You are still my first son. Okay? Father. <laughs> yes, my dear. Please take good care of yourself. I will. And please don't forget to buy me something while I'm coming back. Oh, come on, my princess. You know I will buy you something. Thank you. <laughs> Your Majesty, what about me? Your mother will buy you something. <laughs> Let's not forget. Oh no, please. I'm leaving the kingdom. You are well trusted. You are a man of good faith. Your wisdom is unprecedented. So please take care of my kingdom while I'm gone. <laughs> Breaking news, it was all tragedy today at Dagurungo Forest when the flight that took off from the International Airport by 10 a.m. crashed with 152 passengers all dead and none survived. Below are the identities of the victims. Let this not be true. Let this not be true. My prince, we have come to sympathize with both of you over this heartbroken news. How could His Majesty just die like that? Hell! The Kana, if we may we bend him more, a humble king of Nkano kingdom is gone. Hey! <coughs> It is true that the Iroko tree has fallen. The place, I want both of you to take heart and be a man. I am so sorry. Please. Uh, well, uh, you can, we urge you to take good care of the family until I meet with other elders here in the palace on the next Akema Cape Day. Okay. Oh no. I'm totally short of words. Yes, I know. We are sincerely very sorry. But I think we should take this opportunity and see the way. That's the yeah, That's the you know.
Your Majesty, why all this? My son, I'm also as confused as you are. But uh, it's a wish of the gods. I just wish that they could change their mind. I wish they could do so too. Because it still baffles me how I, a booby, will ascend the tree when the first one is still alive. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> Greetings to you, my prince. The heir apparent to the throne of the kingdom, I greet you. What did I hear you say? The heir apparent to the throne? I don't want to be your king. It is my brother, Ikenna, and not me. The next time you address me by such title. You are sorry, my prince. It's not happening again. again. You are sorry. You are sorry, my prince. Over! Okanga! Greetings to you, Prince Ebuki. The hair apparent to our honorable throne. What did I hear you say? The hair apparent to which throne? If there is anyone to be addressed by such title, it is my brother Ikenna and not me. I am not the first son of the king. Sorry, my prince. You better be sorry for yourselves. The next time I hear you address me by such title, you will definitely leave this palace. Sorry, my prince. You better be sorry for yourselves. Rubbish. I wonder why he's not interested in the truth. Prince Ebube cannot disobey the ghost. He has to accept his destiny. You're right, my sister. But I'm still wondering why the ghost rejected Prince Ikenda at the first song. My dear, the ghosts are wise. And nobody can question them. <sighs> Mystery of destiny. Huh? Let's just go to our room before the thing is lost. As I was saying, yes. We are here to hear from Ikuku, the only man that stands as an intermediary between us and the gods. So please, the Great One, speak to us. Thank you, Onowu. Before I proceed, Ibu Chianya, as a mother, Kamakari Ibu Chianya, as a mother. What I'm seeing here is disappointing, it's purely negative. There will be trouble and trouble and trouble. Ikuku, the eyes and the mouths of the gods. You say there will be more troubles? More trouble, more chaos, more confusion. Hmm. Um, all hope is not lost as far as Onowu, you and your fellow elders continue to support the decision of the gods of the land. But that was what killed his royal highness who has departed. It was a big challenge to the gods of the land. So I implore you to continue to support the gods of the land. I implore you. Thank you very much. Don't tell me that was a present. Don't tell me that was a present. Come down for what? Calm down. For what now? I want you to understand that this is the decision of the gods according to the chief priest. Which priest are you talking about? Do you know what is the plan, Do you know what is the plan deal with Ebube? <laughs> I will talk to Ebube. If you know how much he paid to him, let him go back and collect it from him. Because as for me, I will never, ever be alive. I see Ebube said it that way. I understand how you feel. Please calm down. Can you find a call me far? My dear, you don't know how I feel. Okay, now put yourself in my shoe. If you wear my shoe now, then how would you feel? I want my kind of codify. A blue you saw your zodi cable cook. But can I blow you now? I want my kind of blow. Never. Okay, now let me ask you. During the time of my father, his right was all the pledge of him. Okay, now it's my turn. 
They are now planning on how to take my own right away from me. Prince Ikenna, please. You are my brother. Hebebe is my brother too. Mm -hmm. I love the both of you. Then what about it? So maybe all those preachers, if I may demand of it, so maybe those preachers are beg of you. I can never allow such to happen. Never <laughs> <laughs> you think you can plan with SMO to take away my wife from me? Get your hands off me, Ikenna. You've torn my clothes. What has gone wrong with you? Do you think I am even interested in the throne? Hey, Bube, see, let me tell you one thing. If you think you can take away my wife from me, I am not interested in the throne. Please, Ikenna, what is it? Ikenna has just torn my clothes. He even says I bribed the ASMO over the kingship. If you know how much you paid him, go and get it from him. Prince Ikenna, what has come over you? You and I know that even Ebube here is not interested in the throne. What has come over you? You see, you are saying small girl. You don't understand what is happening behind me. It's a pretense. So, so you people want to kill yourself. That's a pretense. You people see, want eh? to kill yourselves. Huh? Princess. <laughs> Why this pussied moment of mine? Why has the ghost chosen me instead of my elder brother Ikenna? May the ghost never be angry with me because I can't accept it. This is so complicated. I can't ascend the throne when my brother is still alive. And I don't want to be a king. There is something that brought me to the palace this evening. And uh, I've been worried about it. Uh -huh. What am I hearing? Is it true? How can the both of you be fighting over the decision of the gods? Oh no. It is Ikenna. He is the one creating problems in this palace. He tore my clothes and even said that I, Ubejite, bribed the chief priest of Nkana Kingdom, Ikuku, over the kingship of this kingdom, which I am not even interested in. Forget about this pretest, Ebube. You are the problem. Oh no, it's over my dead body. Will I allow my own younger sibling, Ebube, to sit on that throne? <laughs> no. Oh, it will not happen. My father's right was not deprived of him as the first son of his father. Now, how could my own right as the first son of my own father be deprived of me? No. Give my mind the now. He cannot. Ikenna, it has not gotten to this. You don't say over your dead body. It's not done. You see, your brother Ibube, it's sincerely very, very innocent. How dare you think he will go and bribe the chief priest, Ikuku? It's never done. And we cannot question the decision of the gods. The decision of the gods, yes, I know about it. But the right should be done. Oh no. You are the custodian of our tradition. Yes. Then how could you sit here and allow the tradition of Unkalo Kingdom to be perverted? It is not what you think. It's not like that. It's just that the decision of the gods, it's final. And my hands are tight. Inano? Oh no. Mm. With all due respect to the gods. To you and to the people of Nkana Kingdom. I, Ebubedike, the son of Udo Ebubedike, is not and will never be interested in the kingship. I will never be your king. My children, listen. The gods are wise. Their decision is final and unquestionable. I don't want to hear any pitching again in this palace. 
Oh no, with all due respect, we'll be back. Wow. Thank you very much. So, my elders, that's why I invited you all here. <laughs> so that we could all reason over this new development. Hey, mm. hey do you know what you have just said? Mm -mm. You want to turn what the gods have already decided on so that your brother Ikena will become the next Igwe? Mm. Let me tell you, I, the Onu of Mpano Kingdom, is not a part of this your atrocity. Yes, yes. My brains. Do you know what you're doing? What your late father was unable to change or oppose. You want to oppose it now? My fellow elders, you people should count me out of this. I am not a party to this. If only metal on. Holy Sia Webro. Wait for me. I will come with you. Wait, I will come with you. I am coming with you. Is it by force to be a king? Huh. So, you people think you can take, take away my wife from me? My throne. My throne. Oh, my throne. How did you know? You go and ask a bit of now. You see all this in order. Sweetheart, please get out of. My side, all of you are enemies. I'm, I'm really, really troubled now. I would like to see any person around me. Eh? If you're not doing yourself any good, what just is... calm down. Please, there must be a way out. Which way out are you talking about? I mean that. Yeah, so. Are you doing the cooking? Yeah. Wow, Zubi. Long time. You just remembered me this afternoon. How has life been with you now? Yes. Who is Zubi? Are you talking to Zubi? Zubi, I know. Yeah, my friend. Gas! I'm sorry. No problems, no problems. No problems. That's my issue. I'm sorry. No problems. Who knows why they drink? He didn't want me to take it. <laughs> you never Sorry. can tell. You never can tell what. Let them get you another one. Yeah. Madis. Madis. A booba think he can maneuver me by taking away my rights from me. No. That won't happen. My father's right was not deprived of him. My own will not be an exception. I will send him to his early grave. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Where are you? <laughs> Ikenna! Mufari! You are welcome. You may sit. Come! Thank you, the great one. How do you go to your money? Give for me a gas and give me a car. How do you go to your money? How do you go I was a very blue blood mozi. Ha! Aguza Guano, Arupalia, Hundimo, Aguza Guano, Arupalia, Humo. Ikena, you are welcome. I am the great Ufere. Yes, Prince Ikena is your sacred shrine. For a very worrisome assignment. Please. I'm here. Hey, wait! <laughs> I know why you are here. Drone log ahead. Drone log ahead. <laughs> yes, the wise one. My younger body is trying to take hey! a for... No, it's, 
Your younger brother wants to succeed your father, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> How do you know? You are right! <laughs> you are very right! It is too painful to me because uh, uh, I am wait. rightful. Say no more. Offer your sacrifices now in cash. The great one, you don't name your. You must drop some money. Uh -huh. <coughs> Ikenna, long time ago, yes. you committed a sacrilege. Sacrilege? Yes, arrow. Now come. Look at you here. Look at you here. Look at you. Look at you here. Have you seen it? Have you seen it now? If I may ask Ikenna, are you going to let leave him go that way? <laughs> Why are you asking like this as if you don't know me on this campus? Mola! See, just to watch out and see what will happen. For snake to snatch my own girl since from me. Yeah, yeah. So crazy. So crazy. See, snake think he can eat his cake around. He must surely pass across. Today is Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is Saturday. They don't mind have their cake guys activity. Yeah. I don't understand. Which kind of nonsense thing be this? Why oh, no, they block me now? I don't know, Snake, why do you pretend so much? Don't you are you not aware of what you did? To snatch my own girl from me? Are you crazy or something? <laughs> now that one, you don't lose her. She don't tell you and she don't want you to say she don't want you. Let me talk like this. They said nothing. Nothing? That the deed has been done already. They also said that you should allow your younger brother to continue. What? You have lost all your opportunities of being the apparent heir to that throne. What? You may leave now! Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no! Wonderful. Very powerful. G a sick man on all the poor men. And he have abominable G. G a make the sick all the poor men. So bad here. I'm cause of my problem. <laughs> what is it again? I've heard you. I am here to warn you. Accept your fate. Accept your fate and go no further. Remember that the wine you poisoned, which was served by the maiden, Toebube, the gods of your land also protected him from that poison. The great one must you be reminding me of all these things. Be warned. Great one, I've heard enough of you. Accept your face! Oh, the Jim 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 Mm -hmm. I called you here because of what is happening in our land. It is not that I don't want to be the king or that I like this calamity that is happening in our land. But it is just that when I gained admission into the university, I was voted into a leadership position that I never really asked anyone to vote me into. And being the leader, I saw a lot of people who were envious of power, who can do anything to sit on leadership positions. They fought against me, blackmailed my name, just to make me the wrong person and to make themselves the saint. Because of that, I deeply lost interest in leadership. 
and swore to myself that I would never ever venture into leadership again. Because if it is what everyone wants, I don't want it. I served the people with my treaties, my time, my treasure, and my talent. Yet, the oppositions succeeded in making them turn against me, despite all my good services. Oh no, the interest of leadership died in me. Yes, you see, my son, it's not as if anybody is forcing you to take up this position. The same woman made a statement and stood by it. And I, as you know, haven't heard something that had never happened before in this land. Went off the track to find out and know why. If I tell you places I went, all I did, you won't believe it. But the fact remained that everywhere I went, the answer was the same. That you, Ebube, is destined to be the Iwe of this kingdom. My son, it's nothing but service to your people. It means that our forefathers have checked everything and found that you are worthy to lead your people. If the gods didn't want you, they could have made your father barren. Or only have the princess. They could have made their father not to have issues. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I am with you. Uh -huh. yeah. But you came. Your senior brother came. He can, and you too. But it's only the gods that sees the heart. It's only the gods that knows what will happen tomorrow. I have it's an honor, my son. It's an honor. I have heard you on the wall. I will so, think about it. Please, it's not a question of thinking about it. In the next few market days, we are going to do the coloration. And uh, that is it. Okay, my son. <laughs> bye bye. That small boy, Bube, instead of his no brother. Uh, I wonder, because Ebube is too young to ascend that great throne of Unkano Kingdom. But not to worry, because I know that the gods that choose him will never be there, and he will disappoint his people. No, they will always be there to guide him. So let me rush down to the palace let and me go see to what my is house going on there. <laughs> Wow, it's so good to see you. Wow, looking Me good. Too. I've really missed you all this while. Please. Mm. Of a truth, I did. From the deepest depth of my heart, I did miss you. You do? Of course, I did. Mm, you can say so. <laughs> I've missed you too. <laughs> so, how have you been? I'm going well with me. Mm -hmm. You can see, just there. <laughs> Thank you. Um. How come you never told me the friends? You know, at times, one has to hide his true identity. At least to make friends of people who love you for who you are, hmm. not what you are. Identity? Yeah. For me? Man, are your friend? I never knew you would get to this extent now. Hmm. Hmm? Honestly, I'm sorry for hiding my identity from you. It's okay. At least. Your yeah, prince, I'll uh, say, your majesty, or what should I say? <laughs> Anyone you choose to say. Wow, so um, why did you invite me here? What's up? Actually, in the next 21 market day, 
I'll be crowned king of Nkano Kingdom. Wow, congratulations. Wow, I'm happy for you. you. That's nice. Hope I'm invited. Of course you are. Hmm. <laughs> but can there be a king without a queen? Okay, so go get a queen. I should go get a queen. Mm -hmm. I should go get a queen. Yeah. Go get a queen, so. Rose. We marry. What? What? Can you please be the next queen of Nkano Kingdom? Uh, <laughs> um. Uh, um. <laughs> Father, good evening, everybody. How are you? I'm okay. fine, Father. I went to the parish house and I was told that you are in the primary school section, so I had to come down here. Yes, I actually came to inspect the work going on in our school. Yes, Father. Um, everybody, why this attire? Don't tell me you're a priest, Father. Actually, I am the second son of the late. Igwe Gudike of Nkano Kingdom. I am a prince. So you've been a prince all this while. And you continue to show your humility towards the work of the church. You know, humility has been one of the profound virtues for our lady. So I intended to emulate that as a legionary. That is why I have always hidden my identity all this while. That's really good of you. Actually, Father, my coronation as the next king of Nkano Kingdom will be coming up in the next 21 market days. It will be an honor for me to have your presence. Wow. No problem, Ebube. I'm promising you to be there that day. I'll be there. May the Almighty God continue to bless you. Why the sudden travel? It is important I make this travel Unuru, for an important mission. I see. Uh, well, I don't know. Do you need uh, to be accompanied by any of your cabinet? Not at all, Unuru. Because I will definitely return before sunset. It's all right if you say so. Uh, no problem. Just that um, you need to have it in your memory that you are the Igwe of Onkano land. And your subjects always need you around. That's all. It is always on my mind, you know. It's all right. Father, I went to your office and the master told me that you are in the parish house. That was why I had to walk down here to see you. Oh, you're welcome, Ibupe. Thank you, Father. You know, after our region of very meetings, we do go for our work. So after the work, I said, let me come down immediately to see you because I might go home and may not be able to come back again. Oh, you already, you, oh, you already belong to a society in the church? Oh, 
You already belong to a society in the church. Yes, Father. That's good of you. That's actually one of the reasons why I sent for you. Okay. Always try to be a good Catholic and a good Christian also. Yes, Father. Don't hesitate to recite. I am so happy that peace has finally returned mm. to this kingdom. I'm also happy. In the course of all these things that were happening, I had this song that will never escape my memory. It's still packs on the bits. Ichu wasina karaka karaka. Ichu wasina karaka karaka. Ife kampa no wadi ko agama kayaka. Ife kampa no wadi ko agama kayaka. Mwadi nje akaraka. If my mama tell me, he know they die. My papa tell me, say, he know they change you. No matter the ups and downs, you could be If a bonnie never know what believe in yourself, if a bonnie never know what go work at all. My mama tell me, say, one way they come back. My papa tell me, say, one more to see. Kind of it, or the Lugo, a caraca, the Naka, kind of it, or the Lugo, a caraca, the Naka. It still packs on the bits.